Hello my beautiful, wonderful, and smart viewers. Welcome back to another video. Today is December the 1st. Um, this is my portfolio update. This video is intended for everybody and I'm just going to be going over all my investments, my finances this month, and yeah, I'll bring you along to uh, hopefully you can learn something from this. Um, the point of this video is sort of to, you can learn through proxy. Um, this is, you could consider this like a, um, like a virtual pro portfolio, right? If, if you can imagine like, um, you have none of the risk, but you can still learn from my portfolio and my decisions. So that's the point of this video and I hope you enjoy this monthly update. Okay. Um, big, big thank you to everyone for, um, who's subscribed to my channel, who's helped, oops, who's helped me uh, come along this far in my crypto journey. Um, we're up to 1.1 K views. We have 42 hours of watch, watch time. 204 people have subscribed. Um, I am so happy about that. Thank you everyone for your contributions. Um, all right. So I wanna look at uh, macro. Before we go into my portfolio, let's just look at um, the cryptocurrency in general. Let's just look at the broader market. Um, so this is a uh, Bitcoin dominance. So what we're looking at is Bitcoin versus the total altcoin market. And the macro trend that I'm seeing is that there is a, uh, a lowering, the, the Bitcoin dominance is getting weaker and weaker with each passing, uh, as, it, as it's been going on, there's a descending channel. And so I'm expecting the Bitcoin dominance to continue descending. Um, I could be wrong though, I am just drawing lines on a chart, so take that as you will, but that's how I am interpreting this as uh, altcoins are getting ready to break out, to continue breaking out against Bitcoin, which is why I've posi positioned myself into altcoins, because this is what I'm expecting, is for Bitcoin to continue losing its dominance, meaning more money is going into altcoins than is going into Bitcoin on average. Um, this is looking at Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Uh, this has been, um, I don't know, I feel like I haven't really seen anybody really point this out, but I, I'm definitely noticing some vibes of uh, 2017 when Ethereum made a thousand percent gain against Bitcoin. And it might not necessarily do that same thing again where it pops off, um, but just looking at like uh, XRP versus Bitcoin, it did perform almost exactly as it did back in 2017. So I don't think it's too far-fetched to expect the same from other coins. And so if you're looking to get into cryptocurrency, this is, I mean, this is about as ideal as a time as it gets. So yeah, this is uh, ADA versus Ethereum uh, against Bitcoin. So this chart is a little bit, I drew a little bit more stuff on it. Um, basically, I'm still expecting uh, Cardano to pop off against Ethereum. So I'm, I'm expecting 100% gain against uh, Ethereum and some I don't know. Some people see that uh, Cardano has gone up like fifty percent this week, and they might get nervous and feel like they missed they missed the run. But when you look at the chart like this, um, it hasn't even begun to pop off. Like I, I still feel like I, I'm still buying a lot of Cardano specifically because when I look at these charts, I see that there's so much room for them to pop off against Bitcoin, and I really think this is like I don't know, pretty ideal timing. If you're looking to enter the market, this is one of the best times ever. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting 100%, 1000% gains against Bitcoin. So, I mean, yeah, that's how I'm interpreting these these charts and that's just my personal opinions. So this is my portfolio. We're finally getting around to it. Um, as you can see, I've bought a lot more Cardano as I was expecting. Um, crypto, my crow has unchanged. My engine is unchanged. Um, I bought a little bit more Cosmos. I bought quite a bit more XDAI. Um, but for the most part, my position, I'm just reinforcing my positions and uh, I consolidated a little bit. I sold some Numerar, some Ample, some Link, and some Ocean. Um, I made some really good profits on Numerar and Ample and Link, but I was just wanting to consolidate my positions into altcoins that I was more familiar with. So I'm basing my decisions off of how much I know about the coin versus how well I'm expecting it to do. And so even though I do think uh, Chainlink is going to do really well, Ample is going to do really well, Numar, I don't really know. But 
I'm just more bullish on Cardano than anything else. And so I, I was just consolidating my position into what made sense to me. And it's not necessarily, the, might not work out the best, but I just feel more comfortable. Like I sleep easier at night um, with these positions. Like having more Cardano makes me feel better about myself just because I am more comfortable knowing about what's going on as opposed to Chainlink where I'm less, I'm less confident in what's going on or the price. So this is October 1st. This was from the first video I made. This is what my profile looked like when I made that video. I was vastly weighted towards Crow. And um, this is kind of like a residue from the past, right? This is kind of like a residual investment from back in 2018 when I was just getting into cryptocurrency. So my profile, my portfolio at the time, I still have some Crow, but I'm like, super bearish on crow to be honest like i think it's a terrible investment so um i am i so let's go to the next the next update video so this is from my second video and my my portfolio was so much more well balanced i have so much more invested in altcoins and i i just feel so much better when my portfolio isn't half crow so <laughs> um yeah i like the look of this and then this is uh today so today, my portfolio, Cardano has taken the first position, and perhaps by next month, uh, maybe Cardano will make up 60% of my total portfolio. Um, yeah, I, I think that's not too unreasonable to think. I think Engine might go down a little bit unless Engine starts outperforming. Um, so there is some good news for Crow holders, and that is that uh, they are releasing the Crypto.com debit cards in Canada, and they are going to continue enabling more users uh, to use their platform. And then they're also doing a uh, leverage trading on their trading platform or on their website. So those are all good news. I'm just I don't utilize any of those things as an American user. I don't have access to those. Um, but Cardano is just popping off. I might make another video, another update on all the news going around um, with Cardano because it's very bullish. And yeah, there's so much going on. I could make a video every day about Cardano if I wanted to. Um, but I just want to keep my videos uh, tight and valuable. I don't want to waste your time. So I'm just trying to focus on making the best video and not just producing as much content as, per as much as possible. But yeah, let me know what you think about my portfolio. Let me know what your portfolio looks like. Um, so this is in terms of US dollars. Before it was just in percentages, but this is actually in US dollars. So this is from September 29th. Um, I had so much crow. I think at one point I had $30,000 $30, worth of crow. Um, but the price has since come down so much. I think it's come down like 60% since then. So yeah, this is the from my second video. Um, you'll notice that I'm always buying more unstoppable domains. I'm just, every time I have um, excess in a position, so with Crow, every time I would earn interest, so every week I'm getting like, well, at the time I was getting like $100 a Crow. Today I'm only getting like $20 with Crow. But with that $40 of interest I'd earned, I'd put it into unstoppable domains or into other positions. And so, um, yeah, you'll notice all my old positions increasing in value and my unstoppable domains increasing in value. And that's because I'm I'm using all the interest I earn on my positions to uh, buy up other coins. So I'm probably going to do the same with Cardano in the future. As I earn interest from staking, I'll probably put it into other positions like unstoppable, unstoppable domains or into smaller alts. Um, so this is my most recent update. Um, my total value in US dollars is catching up. But my value in Bitcoin has gone down dramatically. And so it, the only thing that matters, the US dollar, you can pretty much ignore because the value in US dollars, I mean, let's be honest, US dollars are kind of worthless, or at least to me, they're worthless. I immediately put all my US dollars into cryptocurrency, and that's because I there is no long term value in holding it. Um, so if we just look at Bitcoin, we can we can see that my position is still going down. So. Um, once upon a time, I had 3.2 Bitcoin, uh, then 2.04, and now we're at 1.5. So right now, it's kind of like, uh, I guess it's kind of like the the awkward moment before altcoins pop off because Bitcoin has just had this massive rally, and so I'm expecting things to 
kind of be cyclical like it was in 2017 where when bitcoin popped off that altcoins are going to follow along and that they're just lagging behind so that's my expectation so i'm not too worried about losing value in bitcoin because i think this is uh exactly to be expected if it's following along the trajectory it went on last time um in 2017. um so this is my monthly earnings so this month uh the vast majority of my income came from unemployment benefits and then I earned some uh, passive income from Pornhub, from Fancentro, and from commissions. Commissions is just for when people ask me to do um, like a photo shoot or make them a video. And so I, um, I don't like doing that, but I will do it occasionally. And so, yeah, it's just a nice way to earn some passive income. Um, I did uh, get hired to do a job. I'm working at Amazon, uh, Amazon Fresh, where I'm going to be like producing food or something. I'm not totally sure. Uh, next week, I will be... Uh, learning that job so my unemployment is gonna run out pretty soon um, I've had unemployment since June I want to say and so uh, yeah I, I'm just looking to have as many uh, different avenues to earn money from so if you can have you know five or six different places where you can earn money uh, the more the merrier right you just want to be comfortable um, so if you lose one, like if I lose my job, I still want to have other sources of income. So having, you know, three or four sources of revenue is good, but I'm still working on that. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep working. Even, even if I had, I don't know, even if I didn't have this job or if I lost my source of revenue, I, I wouldn't be too unhappy because I feel like I can just keep working, you know? Um... Okay, so total spent. So this month I only spent $108. Uh, you should notice, take note that uh, the amount I spent this month was not even one-tenth of what I earned. And so uh, I'm trying to maximize how much I'm earning and trying to minimize how much I'm spending. So I'm, I only spent one-tenth my income. Um, so I'm in a really good position where I live with my, you know, my parents and I only have to pay for a few things. I don't have to pay for housing and other things. Um, when I... When I start working though, I am gonna have to buy a car and that's gonna be expensive. So I'm trying to put that off as long as possible and trying to hold on to my cryptocurrency as long as possible and minimize my spending. Uh, but I do have to spend money on things eventually. So yeah, um, I'm pretty proud, I'm pretty happy. Like this month I didn't, you know, I didn't spend things on food. I didn't spend things on like Netflix or uh, I feel like I've really gotten my expenses down to the bare bones. You know, I only spend money on things if I have to. You know, if if I if it's an absolute necessity, then I will spend my money on it. Otherwise, I'm I think about it in terms of how much will this be worth in ten years, right? If you think about like if you could have bought Bitcoin ten years ago, you'd have you know hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. So it's the same thing. You just gotta think about it in terms of its future value. That's why I, I, I kind of cringe when I have to spend money. Speaking of cringing when I spend money, these were, I guess you could call fails. Like, I, I want to mention that um, I lost about $400 making two big mistakes. So the first mistake on the left, God, I, I cringe so hard at this because I should know better, was um, I deposited some DAI onto Crypto.com and... Users have always complained about this, and I knew about it, which is why I'm like face palming really hard. Is the fact that there's a, it's a low liquidity uh, pair on Crypto.com, so they don't have a lot of Dai on hand for you to trade with, and it's so frustrating because I just wanted I don't know I should have deposited it on Binance where they have much more liquidity, or I could have exchanged it on Uniswap and been just fine. But specifically because Crypto.com doesn't have much liquidity for DAI, when I exchanged it for Crow and then for ADA, I lost $200 making that transaction. So, extremely painful for me. Losing that much money because of my choice to use Crypto.com is inexcusable. Um, and then the other mistake in the top right here was I was providing liquidity for uh, wrapped... Z, uh, wrap Zek and stake and I provided way more stake than I did for Ren and what happened was uh, it had to adjust it so it had to even out the ratio and when it did that I lost $200 um, I wasn't aware of that I was, I'm still kind of new to providing liquidity uh, I just wanted to share my experience so that maybe you won't make the same mistake uh, 
It might be just an issue with Honey Swap because Honey Swap doesn't have much liquidity. Um, but yeah, when providing liquidity in the future, I'm gonna make sure I have uh, an even ratio of the two tokens I'm providing liquidity for. I didn't know it would be an issue, but apparently that's an issue. Um, so yeah, just be wary. I'm gonna be wary in the future. I'm not gonna beat myself up too much about losing money. I think this is all part of the learning process. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. All right, let me answer this question by Crypt Crusader, who has been commenting on all my videos. Uh, I super appreciate that. What a wonderful guy. Um, he says, okay, I've got a couple questions, if that's okay. Uh, how did you get into cryptocurrencies and do you consider a hobby or like a profession? Okay, so how I got into cryptocurrency was uh, in 2013, my neighbor who works in IT was, uh, we would play video games together like uh, Warcraft and Dota. And he was basically into computers and technology and he was very aware of the scene at large. And so I'm not quite sure how we found out about it, but he at one point told me about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin specifically. And he just described the whole process of mining it with your computers and it's a network of computers to run this, uh, you know, to run this thing and that it's kind of like virtual money. And I immediately kind of understood what, what he was talking about. I don't know. As someone that just used computers my whole life, it just made sense to have a virtual currency. And I didn't do anything with the information. I was only 13 at the time, so I couldn't utilize it. I didn't have any money to buy Bitcoin with. But it was very exciting. I remember uh, hearing about how it was worth $1,000. And yeah. I consider it a hobby. I'm not. It's not really a profession, at least not yet. Um, for me, it's just a downtime thing. Like I do it uh, when I have nothing else to do, or I do it to pass the time. Because for me, this is very fun. Okay, so I saw. In our, I'm reading the next part. I saw in her bio that you struggle or have struggled with uh, depression, uh, anxiety, and depression. Same. So how has cryptocurrencies helped you with that? Well, uh, I, I'm really glad. Uh, that you notice that I just I always disclose this information so that other people with anxiety and depression uh, don't feel alone and that they know there's other people who struggle with that sort of thing. Um, and I hope my videos help you with your own anxiety and depression. Um, so cryptocurrencies help me deal with my depression by feeling less anxious about money. Um, I am trying to become financially independent or um, cryptocurrencies give me something to do with my money. So I, I have this goal to invest and save money for the future. So, um, when I look at my portfolio grow, you know, I, I, this is the sort of thing that gives me, uh, a reason to live and to think about the next day is so that, you know, one day this portfolio will grow into something really big and beautiful. And I, I it makes me, it gives me a reason to, I don't know, purpose, not only purpose, but like. Um, it, if you're not careful with your money, then, uh, financial stress can l literally dramatically lower your IQ. I mean, if you, every day you just spend your money the moment you get it and you don't want to look at your bank account because you're scared of how much you spent, um, then that sort of thing can really drive people crazy. And so my goal is to, uh, not only not be stressed about my money, but I want it to be a source of happiness for me. So with cryptocurrency, I'm, I'm trying really hard to um, be educated and smart about it um, as so that in the future, it won't be a source of stress, but you know, a, a source of pride. Um, the greatest uh, recommendation that I have is to start watching Dave Ramsey's and Graham Stephan on YouTube. Uh, they will do some wonderful uh, financial education and that's what got me into investing. So I think in 2018, I started watching these guys on YouTube. And I just, everything on YouTube, I pretty much watch. So um, I, I would highly, highly recommend watching these two. Uh, they talk about investing and, yeah, how to save money. Um, and then the next part is, uh, do you do anything else with your free time besides YouTube video games? Uh, like video games, school, and work? I don't do school, and I I was doing work up until a little while ago, so I'm gonna go back to work, but uh, in terms of video games, yes, I totally play Dota 2, I, I play all sorts of video games. Um, I, I've spent about 5,000 hours of my time just playing this video game. It's just a pastime thing. This is probably not gonna turn into a job or uh, translate well into any other career thing. It's just about uh, doing, occupying myself, and so I, playing video games is a big way to release stress and to, you know, it's a pastime. Um, and then, of course, I also watch... I spend a lot of time watching Twitch stream. I watch people play and do anything. You know, I, I, I just do it for fun. 
Um, have you ever thought about making like a starter course for someone who's thinking about dipping their toes into the world of crypto? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how interested I am in doing that because I just I don't have the um, production quality to make a substantial or I feel like I wouldn't be really happy with. I don't know. The videos I make aren't. I'm not the most pro prolific person, so I, I can't really make a nuanced quality video describing how everything works and. I'm just, I like to talk about my opinions or my thoughts because those are subjective and I can be loose with them. I feel like I, I feel less pressured to be uh, accurate or, you know, factually correct with that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoyed this. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you everyone who's subscribed to my channel and has stuck around. Uh, really appreciate everyone who's been here. And I just want to say, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful, has a wonderful week. Thank you for watching.